Also tonight, another terrifying episode of violent turbulence, this time on a flight from Doha to Dublin. Twelve people were hurt on that Qatar Airlines Airways flight. Eight had to be hospitalized. Here's how some of the passengers describe that moment. Unfortunately, there was a couple of passengers that didn't have seatbelts on, so they were thrown in front of us, they were thrown out of their seats and hit their head. We had our seatbelts on just from watching the episode that happened last week. It was just, it was there in your mind. That episode that happened last week, of course, was a severe turbulence on a Singapore Airlines flight that left more than 100 people injured, 43 of them still in the hospital tonight. 28 people suffered spinal, brain, and skull injuries when they were thrown, thrown from their seats. Keith Davis and his wife Carrie were on that Singapore Airlines flight. She suffered a severe spine injury, and Keith Davis is out front now. Keith, you know, we see you there. You're still bandaged, still in your hospital bed there in Bangkok. Um, how are you doing tonight? Um, Erica, to be honest, I am doing 100%. Um, when I compare myself to the situation of so many others, and unfortunately my wife, mm -hmm. um, it's just been a really, really tragic end to what was an absolutely amazing holiday. It's just... Uh, uh, incredible that this this has happened, you know, to so to so many on that flight. And, I would, uh, yeah, it's been pretty terrible. Yeah, I would imagine in some ways it, it likely still feels surreal. Um, your wife Carrie was on board, obviously, with you. You two were on your way home uh, from vacation. Uh, she was thrown in the midst of all of this. Suffered a severe spinal injury, as I noted. Um, she wasn't able to feel anything after that from the waist down. I know she had to have emergency surgery when you got to Thailand. How is Carrie tonight? Um, look, we're taking it day by day. Uh, we're just really focused on getting Carrie to a position that uh, she can actually fly home. Mm -hmm. uh, we're uh, working out now all the logistics for a um, air ambulance to fly her direct, directly from here back to Australia. Um, there was some other, you know, options on how we could do the logistics. My greatest concern was I didn't want her to go on any commercial flight to be back in the rear end, you know, of mm -hmm. a, a long haul 747. That was just the worst scenario so we've been able to make arrangements where a dedicated um, ICU air ambulance fully equipped with a medical team on board are able to make that transfer for her so that should be happening soon. Soon is does soon mean a matter of days or a matter of weeks? I'm 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 hopeful that we're it'll be no more than a week at this at this point. Hopefully even even sooner, mm -hmm. yeah. In a weird way, we're blessed mm -hmm. that we were diverted to this yeah. to the hospital here in Bangkok. Um, but you can understand that as amazing as all that can be, there's nothing like being home, being surrounded by family and friends. Um, that's when we begin the real work in terms of Kerry's recovery. Yeah. Um, the the surgery as as you know has been successful, but really that is just to stabilise her, to get her best placed and set up to make um, that recovery. Uh, some of some of the other stories are, are extraordinary. I saw on the BBC um, a story about a young man who was applying CPR to the unfortunate um, person who passed away. Uh, that young man was sitting next to me, um, who was the guy applying CPR. It was just remarkable that you could have three people sitting in a row and have three absolutely crazy outcomes. Um, unfortunately for my wife, her outcome is that she has no sensation from her waist down. My outcome is I'm bit battered and bruised, a few lacerations. Um, I'm talking to you, sitting here. I can get around the place. This young man who was sitting next to me, I didn't see him. We were 
all three instantly launched into the ceiling. I, I've since found out that he landed two or three rows behind in the lap of another passenger. When I looked, his seat was destroyed. His seat was destroyed. I was so confused. I landed back in my seat. Unfortunately for Kerry, she landed straight into the aisle. When she hit the ground, she didn't move. When you land at that sort of force, you're, you're going to move. You're going to, you'll, you'll react. She never moved again. It was, it was absolutely terrifying. Mm -hmm. I can remember I came over, I leant over her and just the, the silly things that are in your mind. Um, I checked, she was breathing. She could speak to me she, very weakly. I could hear her voice and I realised I was dripping blood onto a dress and my mind's going, oh no, I'm dripping blood into a dress. You know, you think, I hope this isn't going to stain. I've, mm -hmm. it, it, just silly things. Um, when we were launched, it was as though we were in this sort of suspended animation. It, it, it was kind of like, you know, how people pay big bucks to go and fly out of the, you know, almost out of orbit where mm. you get that sense of floating around gravity free. Time was suspended. We were just floating. I remember observing my wife and then all of a sudden reality comes smashing, smashing down. Yeah. yeah. The, the, as as um, and when the first thing I saw was Toby, as I, I found out, um, you know, because I was talking to him, Toby, I couldn't remember his name, I saw it reported. I couldn't understand what he was doing down the aisle applying CPR. I thought, I know that guy. It, it was just so confusing. It just shows you how some people in those situations, he lands two or three rows behind. Here's, a, here's people calling out for medical assistance. And there he is, like Superman. He ran yeah. down and he's applying CPR. It and, is, yeah. It is always Crazy. Um, remarkable in some of these moments, right, how people just launch into action where they're needed. Um, yeah. Keith, I really appreciate you taking the time tonight. I know, as you mentioned, there's a long road ahead for Carrie. Um, I hope you'll keep us posted on her progress, and I hope that you two are on your way home in a matter of days Yeah. so that she can start with that. I know your daughter is with you now. I'm glad she's there with you. Thanks again for taking the time. Thank you.